Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name Lord of the Jesus. Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, welcome, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power.
God. You are in life. I exalt you this morning. Uh, King of all kings, our Lord, you this morning. Uh, we magnify your holy name this morning. Uh, King of our life, we adore you this morning. Hallelujah. Comforter and friend, uh, healer, deliverer, the untimed God, we worship you. Be magnified this morning, Lord. Uh, hallelujah to your name. Uh, oh, sovereign God, I adore you this morning. Uh, El Shaddai, I exalt you this morning. Uh, I bow before the Holy God this morning, uh, the giver of my strength. Hallelujah. Without you, I am nothing. Uh, I lord you alone this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, great is thy mercies towards me. Thy tender mercies I see. Hallelujah. Day after day, uh, your loving kindness, God. Hallelujah. I worship you this morning, God. Uh, none like you. Somebody open your mouth and bless the King of all kings this morning. You are good. Hallelujah. All the time you are good. We worship you this morning, God. Hallelujah. We adore you this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your praise. This to the Lord. Lift your praise. This to the Lord. Lift him higher in one accord. Lift your praise. This to Oh, 
you know God reign. Lift up the name of Jesus. He's reigned this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, God reign. those hands and worship him if you know he reigned this morning the preserver of our life if you know he reigned this morning hallelujah somebody exalt him hallelujah you are worthy lord hallelujah nobody like you jesus hallelujah glory to your name jesus hallelujah jesus come on and say hallelujah 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 you are worthy you are worthy jesus sovereign god you reign somebody tell him he reigned this morning lord you are good hallelujah and your mercies endures forever hallelujah hallelujah had it not been for the lord at my side where would i be hallelujah bless the name of the lord he's worthy of all glory he's worthy of all praise he's worthy of all honor this morning my soul magnify the lord hallelujah bless the name of jesus oh, open your mouth and worship here i am hallelujah oh, open your mouth and bless the lord the lord is good to all hallelujah oh, your blessings on me. Thank you, God Almighty, for your new mercies that I see day after day. Oh, for crippling every plans of the enemy. Oh, God, I thank you this morning. Be magnified, oh Lord, and all that is within me. Hallelujah. Give your glory this morning. Oh, Lord, we lift you up this morning. We crown you king of all kings this morning. Oh, we adore you morning God hallelujah to your name Jesus hallelujah bless the name of Jesus glory to your name God he's worthy God's worthy almighty creator alpha omega beginning the end
bless your name, bless his name. Bless your father's name this morning. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name, he's worthy to be praised. Bless his holy name, he's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Yes, Lord. Anointing set me free. Oh, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Sweet anointing fall on me. Anointing, oh, let it fall on me. Thank you. Oh God Almighty. Now thank you for the 
love in our hearts for you. And for our brothers and sisters this morning, God, we thank you. We come with great expectation one for another, God. I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. I come expecting God to see your glory manifest in this house. I come this morning, God. Oh, God Almighty, for the sinner man to be reclaimed. I come this morning, God, for the backslider. Hallelujah. I come expecting God for those who are watching. Oh, God, over live stream that somebody will be healed. Somebody will be delivered. Somebody will be set free. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come this morning, God, for those who are watching. Hallelujah. That doors will be open for them, Lord God. And your blessing begin to flow in their lives. Oh, God, as we come together in one accord, fear not, God. Whatever you're doing today, God, don't do it without us, Lord. Don't do it without us, God. Hallelujah. I just thank you for my pastors. I thank you, God, for the rest of ministers, Christian workers, missionary prayer mothers, visiting friends. Hallelujah. In the congregation, we thank you this morning and we give you the praise. Father God, this is our Lord's supper service. And oh God Almighty, sometimes we have five Sundays, sometimes four. And this is my favorite of all. When we come together, this is my favorite Sunday morning. Oh God, when I'm able to partake in your blood and in your body. Hallelujah. And I'm expecting great things to happen. I'm expecting miracles. I'm expecting God the grape to turn real blood and bring real deliverance in the life of your people, God. I am expecting that your flesh, oh God, that was bruised for us, God, both here and over the medium, God Almighty, that you bring deliverance, oh God, to the children of man, because God, your soul of this world, that you send your son, God, oh God, who suffered, oh God, he was so marred, it was in a beauty to behold him, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and so I thank you. For the privilege this morning, he could alamasa, he could alamasa, he could alamasa. Oh God, with expectation we come. Fail us not, God Almighty. Hallelujah, blind Bartimaeus, heard that you were passing by, and he cried out, he could tell him a hand, he could tell him a say, Jesus, the Son of David, have mercy upon us, hallelujah, upon me, hallelujah. But this morning, God, we cry, Jesus, the Son of the living God, of mercy this morning, and show up both here in the sanctuary and for those who are watching. Lord, we thank you this morning as we turn the rest of the service into your hands. We bless your name, and we thank you in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. If you're in agreement, let me hear your echo. It makes Satan hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Father God. So I greet the Holy Spirit. I greet my pastor. I think I did that already. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If it had not been on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? If it had not been 
Brought me through. I'm living. I'm living this moment. Because of you. Because of you. I, I, and I want to take you and praise you too. And praise you too. Clap for it, clap for it. Brother? My name is Owen. I'm working with you guys to find my wife. And who is 
you like that? Amen, okay. Amen, amen. We come around to you. What is it? Is this it back here? Your sister? No? What you calling me for? Okay. Here you go, sister. My sister Mary. I was invited by my sister to come to this church where I know she's not here, but I still find my way here. Amen, amen. I'm glad that God gathered you here. Who we got back there? Right by your dad, okay. Good job, John, back here. All right, sister, is it new? Katrina invited me. Amen, amen. Yeah. I got to elect invited her. Wait a second, sister, tell us your name. Equifi. Equifi, sister Equifi, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Well, on behalf of our priest of this home, the Reverend Dr. Delroy Chambers, his wife, Minister Yvonne Chambers, all the ministers, all the evangelists, exhort to elect, all the Christian workers, deacons, deaconesses, and yes. everybody that's sitting around you. We want to welcome you to our first Sunday service, Lord's Supper service. One of the most special services that we have, because I mean, it's just, it's first Sunday. You know, God is always first on Sunday. Amen? Amen. Now, just feel free to worship. Listen, worship is unrestricted. There's no specific. Way to worship. If you want to dance, if you want to just bust a move, yeah. if you want to jump, if you want to shout, if you want to don't kick nobody or nothing, but you know what? The Lord will protect anybody who's around you. So don't even worry about it. Cut loose if you want to, as long as it's for the Lord. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wonderful welcome. Thank you, brother David. Praise God. And we also welcome the few in media. We are, we are, we are, you know, look your best, you know, because we're live Amen. and direct. So just and sound our best. Wave your hand and say hello to our viewing. Hello. Those who are viewing us, and we welcome you to our Sunday morning service. Please enjoy. Praise God. And send your tithes and your offering. You, you know, you know the address. There's a part on the and the um that you click in, yeah. and you send it. Send you 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 um you comments that we can read it. Call your name and send you abroad. Is that amen? Praise God. Let us know how we are doing. Praise God. And that was for those who are viewing. Praise the Lord. At this time, put your hands together and welcome Deaconess Dati to um. She's gonna read the Bible. Let's praise him one more time. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise God. We're going to all stand. We're going to take our lessons taken from Genesis 35. And we're going we're gonna to read alternate verses. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory praise to God. God. When you find it, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, find it quick. Bless the Lord. It says, read as said, oh God. And God said unto Jacob, you all find it? I still hear Bible leaf rolling. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Those that are sitting, please stand if you don't have a Bible. Under the word of God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We can read now. Yeah. Praise God. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that appear unto thee, when thou fedest, fledest from thy face of Esau thy brother. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answer me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods, which were in their hands, and all their earrings, which were in their ears, and Jacob did let them among the folk which were in their flesh. And they journeyed and the terror of God was upon the city. 
that were around and about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. And he built there an altar and called the place El Bethel, because their, their God appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Paden Aram, Padam Aram, and Padam Aram, and blessed him. Thank you. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiplied, and nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy lines. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob called the name of that of the place where God spake with him Bethel. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was departing, for she died, that she called his name Eli, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephraim. Which, which is Bethlehem? And Israel journeyed and spread his and spread his tent beyond the, the tower of Edor. The son of Leah, Reuben, Jacob, firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. And the sons of Bilad, Rachel's unmade, Dan, and Naphtali. Paid on Aram, right? And Jacob came unto his Isaac, Isaac, the city of Abor, Aban, Arban, which is Arborn, where Abraham and Isaac sojourn. That's twenty-seven. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father, unto Mary, Mamre, unto the city of Abor, which is Abor, where Abram and Isaac sojourn. And Isaac gave up the ghost. the ghost. Let us read this together, please. And Isaac gave up the ghost 
and gather people, being old and full of days, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Praise the Lord. Sorry for the mistake. In Jesus' name. Now we honor the word of God by saying glory be to the Father, unto the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sorry. Praise the name of the Lord. Wow. Just raise your hands and give God glory. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember, we are live. Amen? Amen. So we're going to worship and also remember that the person that is at the podium, they are in charge whenever they stand here. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. So I would think that Sister Dottie would be kind of to do the last verse, the way she wants it to be done. Amen. Can somebody praise God? Praise Lord. Protocol is observed. We are live. Oh God, there are two comments that we want to read. And um, just to give God all the praise and all the glory. It says, the first one said, awesome presence of God, those that are viewing. Awesome presence of God. The praise and worship was awesome. The songs were awesome. The young lady that preached, that is um, Sister Lawrence. God bless her. Powerful message. Need to hear that. The world, the world need to hear that. Love you all. Rescue the perishing. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to give God glory now. What one need to realize that. If you don't know, we have been praying, and these are things that we have been praying for, that lives will be effect. We will effect lives all over. So when persons are watching and they comment, that means that they have been blessed. So when we hear this, we realize that our prayers have been answered. Amen? Amen. So we are more than just the four walls. We go beyond the four walls. Amen, people of God? Amen. So let us know what we're doing. The other person said, let me put on my glasses. It said, good evening and greetings. Rescue the perishing. Deliverance. Wonderful church today. Love the order of this man, servant, Pastor Delroy Chambers, anointed man of God, the first lady and all the members. God bless you all. Nice church. Love the anointing. As it flows today, um, I think he wants to tell Pastor and myself, happy anniversary. Love you all. God bless you all. Amen. So we give praise to our viewing audience. And we want to tell those that don't know that risk of the Persian, we are going places in God. And I, I would love for no one to take God glory. Just give it up to God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord because he... Deserve all the praise and he deserve all the glory. Um, I here's a note. This says black Toyota S I S I E N N A K G K M three nine two two D O Doris Opa. I don't know what that is all about. Anyone drive this car? It's a black Toyota Sina. Okay, I hand back the mic to our moderator. Make her welcome as she comes. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor Yvonne Chambers. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. At this time, we're going to 
we're going to do our Lord's Supper. And I turn the mic over to Dr. Wilkes at this time. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord this morning. Somebody glorify the Lord. Today is the last Sunday of the first the last Sunday of the year. Today is the last month, December, and it's the first Sunday in December. And we need to acknowledge God this morning that we live from the 1st of January. We need to glorify God. You need to look back in yourself. And if you can remember this morning that some people who were here the first day in January, if you could look around, if you call their name this morning, they are nowhere to be found. But you are here this morning. So we need to just acknowledge God and give him the praise, give him the glory, and acknowledge who he is. Because this morning I'm telling you, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I give God thanks. I don't know about you, but I am blessed. I'm just lifting up the name of God this morning. I'm not going to sit down and my praise this morning. I'm just going to acknowledge who he is. Because if it wasn't for him, I would not be here this morning. We need to acknowledge God this morning. You need to get up off your feet and give God the praise. You need to give God the glory. You need to acknowledge who he is this morning. We need to stop playing with God this morning. He said, I am a jealous God. God is so jealous. And if we don't give God the praise, he will take it away. I don't want no stone cry out for me. I want to cry out for myself this morning. Let us, let us just praise God this morning. Let us just acknowledge his name this morning. Today is communion Sunday. Let us just examine ourselves and see the purpose that God has in us. I just feel so overwhelmed this morning. Glory to God, glory to God, as we just lift up God's name, as we just praise the name of God, as we just bless his holy name, as we just shut back his name this morning, as we tell him thanks for what he have done and what he's still doing in our life this morning. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Let it rain, Jesus reign. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain in this communion Sunday. Rain in this sup this morning, Lord. Rain in our heart this morning. Rain in our mind this morning, Lord. We acknowledge you, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. Sweep, Lord, sweep, sweep this morning. Sweep this morning, Lord. I live to see a new day. And we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God, glory to God. Today is our communion Sunday. And we just acknowledge God. We just praise God this morning. If you can read, just look back where you're coming from. And wear your hat this morning. You will know the real purpose of this communion Sunday. If God, if Jesus Christ did not break bread with his disciples, we would not be here. Nothing is coincident. Everything is to fulfill the will of God this morning. Just remember that he went to the cross and he died for us. But just remember that Jesus, he fell down. But he never gave up. He never gave up. He get up. Because it was for example for us that we are going to fall down. But if we just continue to move on, we will go forth. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to be reading 1 Corinthians, as I call the deacons to come forth. The pastors, I invite you. 
the Lord's Supper this morning, that you guys stand around the Lord's Supper, because we're going to do things different this morning. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. Call the ministers, come forward for me, please. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians 11, reading from verse 23. Let us meditate. If we read this every single day or month or year or whatever, let us just reflect. Let us just meditate on these words this morning. Because it said, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup, of the Lord and worthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he who eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, Many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastised of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hungry, let him eat at home, that you sh come not together unto condemnation. And he said, and the rest will I say in order when I come. The rest, he said the rest, he will say in order when he come. This represents the cross. What your father has done for you on the cross. This represents his life that he has given unto you this morning. The sacrifice that he made for each and every one of us. So as I said this morning, let's just reflect. Let us just consider, you know, when he said when he was on the cross, when he was there, we, we, not just me, we were on his mind. So let us just put our heart, our mind together, and we decide that we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Let us just decide that we're going to worship him, we're going to praise him, we're going to serve him, we're going to give him all that we have to give him. As I ask the deaconess to remove the cover. This morning, instead of the deacons serve this morning, I'm going to ask Pastor Delroy Chambers and Minister Dawkins to stand and serve the congregation this morning. Today is the last month of 2014. I'm going to ask Minister Douglas and Minister Ivan Chambers to give the blessing 
Minister Douglas will bless the bread. Minister Chambers, Ivan Chambers will bless the wine. We lift up the name of Jesus. Let's just meditate upon his name. Bless the name. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you this morning. Father God, I humbly bow before you. Father God, this congregation and those that are watching, we all bow before you with grateful hearts, thanking you for what you did for us. Father God Almighty, you were bruised, you were, you were broken, you were beaten, Father God Almighty, until every flesh came off your body, O oh Lord God Almighty. Father God, so that we could be here this morning. Hallelujah. I pray to you, Father God, right now. Oh God, as you were broken so that we could live this morning. Lord, let this way first come alive. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty. Lord God, as you take us back. Hallelujah. Oh God, as you journey to Calvary, God. Lord God Almighty. As the soldiers beat in you, God Almighty. As the flesh left your body, Lord. As I say, I saw the future, dear God. And I say, declare it, dear God. That you were wounded, hallelujah. You were bruised, God. Our peace, hallelujah. The chastisement of it is upon you alone. And with every stripe, we are healed. Oh, God Almighty. I call for the spirit of healing. Oh God, in this flesh, this body, this morning, chronic condition, diabetes, every healing known and unknown. Lord, when we partake of your body this morning, healing and deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your breath fall in it right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Father, we thank you again today. Lord, this wine represents your blood. And Lord Jesus, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of, for sin. And so right now, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we gathered, Lord, in your presence, I pray that God miracle, sign, and wonders as your people partake of your blood, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to invite each and every one who know that they are worthy this morning to take part in this communion sup this morning. If you're worthy this morning, let us... Eat, break bread together this morning. As I said, today is a special day. Today is a special Sunday. And I'm going to challenge God this morning. And I believe that if you're sick, if you're weak, if you're distressed this morning, I know for a fact that God will give you healing this morning. I'm going to ask the praise and worship. Just sing for me. Rain, Jesus, rain. As you come forth and take part in this communion this morning. Go ahead. Rain, Jesus, rain. Jesus. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain, Lord. King of Zion, Judas Lion, rain, Jesus, rain.
Rain, Jesus, rain. He was lion, Judas lion. Rain, Jesus, rain. Oh, rain, Jesus, rain. Rain, Jesus, rain.
am here to, to remind that the harvest is ripe. That's for those tears. Many times on this board this morning. Many times on this board this morning. Many times on this board this morning. This song stands by my side. Come on, hold it. I know you are thirsty. You won't be denied. I feel every tear drops when in darkness you cry. And I'm here to remind you that for those tears are. Take a praise break this morning. 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 Take a praise break as they're going through this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Meditate upon his word this morning. Glory to God. Your love loose my chains. And in you I am free, Jesus. but Jesus, why me? Jesus. And Jesus said, Come on, get into the attitude this morning. To the water, stand by my side. It's a noticey morning this morning. Everything it won't be When in darkness you He's cleansing each and every one of us. Sickness. And I'm here pain, to suffering. To Plug into him this morning. That for those Plug in onto him this morning. I Only you and God this morning. It's just you and him. Hallelujah. No one else. It's not me. It's not a pastor. But it's just you and God this morning. Everything that is going on inside here. The reason why you cannot even suck the communion this morning yet is because God is dealing with you differently. And as I said, that if you plug in onto Him this morning, you will receive nothing. It's coincidental. Just plug in onto God this morning. Forget yourself this morning. Leave me to cast the glory. Oh, lest I forget. Get sad on me. Come on, don't forget it. Come on. Lest I forget. Glory to God. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Lest I forget. Believe this morning. Serves a miracle for you this morning. For 
portion of the belief. Your miracle is out here this morning. Whatever the situation is, God is going to fix it this morning with this communion song. Shed from Calvary. Hallelujah. I remember this morning when he was on the cross and the soldier there pierced his side. It wasn't just the blood, but the blood and the water mixed. And the blood and water mixed this morning. And I believe in that there is a blessing for you. God is already consecrating you this morning. It's not about me, it's not about a pastor. But it's a personal relationship between you and God. Yes, Jesus. And I know for a fact that God is healing you. Let us, for one second, just be silent and just meditate upon God. One second. Bless the name of Jesus. Gracious Father, as we heat your body this morning, we are believing this morning as we heat your body this morning. We are believing in a breakthrough. We are believing, dear Lord God, that you're going to heal. You're going to consecrate your people unto you, dear God. That this morning, dear God, it is a special day as we heat with a prayer. Let us break bread together and eat. Gracious Jehovah. Gracious Jehovah Nisi. Gracious Jehovah Shalom. The I am that I am. As we break bread before, dear God, and we are supping your blood this morning, dear God. I'm believing that this is the blood that was shed from the cross of Calvary, dear God. And I know that this morning, dear God, there is going to be a burning sensation in our heart, in our mind, in our soul yes, as we drink together. Bless the Lord. Give God praise this morning. As you acknowledge the name of Jesus this morning, we bless your name, Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Bless your name. Flow, Lord God. Hallelujah. Flow, Lord Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, church, let's worship God. Let's give him some praise, hallelujah. I know I've been healed. I know that I've been set free. I know, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I lift you up, hallelujah. I magnify you. Mighty, 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 mighty God. Your blood prevails this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for delivering power. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the sign and the wonder. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. Praise God. Will the announcer come at this time? Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Holy Ghost, our preeminence in the souls. Holy Ghost, do, 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 do your thing, do your thing. Hallelujah. Only man you can manifest yourself through and in. You could have a son. You could have a hand. You could have a seed. Holy Ghost of the living God. Celebrate this place with your holy presence. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Ghost of the living God. We thank you this morning. We thank you that you are in control. Hallelujah. Our preeminence in this house. We give you praise. We give you honor, Lord. We thank you. Sir, 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 we thank you.
explain to the viewers. Services from the school 9:30 a.m. followed by our divine worship, which begins at 10:45 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sunday night service begins 6:45 p.m. to 9:30. Monday 7:30 to 10 p.m. men fellowship. Tuesday's prayer meeting at 7 p.m. followed by a Bible studies at 8 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. Thursday's 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. weekly fasting. Friday, 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. fellowship. And every other Friday, we have a prior meeting. Please share the word to your friends. If they are unable to attend our service on Sundays, they can watch us live at www.rtpdeliverance.org. We can also be seen on BCAT TV every Monday at 4.30 p.m and 10.30 p.m. Cable Vision Channel 69. Time Warner Channel 56, RCN Channel 84, Birds and Fires Channel 44. Choir practice every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. If you are a member and want to be a part of the choir, please see Minister Chambers. The Lord's Supper will be done on the first Sunday of each month. Let us know if you're celebrating any important events so that we can celebrate with you. Review the notice board for upcoming events as well. Let us support other churches. Tithes and offering. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all shall be measured to you again. We want to wish exhort to elect Tashuna Patterson a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sister Arjabel, when is your birthday, Sister Arjay? And Sister Campbell, let's wave your hand. Let me see all those people. Happy birthday to everybody! <laughs> pastor would want to meet with the board of directors and the pastor aid immediately, immediately after church. Thought of the week: the best thing about the future is it comes only one day at a time. Today is the beginning of your future. These are the announcements through the week, December 17th, 7th to 14th. Please act upon these announcements where possible. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God, praise God. Evangelist Dean is coming to do our pledge. It's time for our tithes and our offerings. Amen. Praise God. Stand with your tithes and your offerings. I'd ask everyone to please stand with your tithes or offering in your hand. Please stand up for Jesus. And you will repeat after me. As we give in today's offering, as we give in today's offering, we believe the Lord for. We believe the Lord for. Jobs are better jobs. Jobs are better jobs. Raises and bonuses. Raises and bonuses. Benefits. Benefits. Sales and commissions. Sales and commissions. Settlements. Settlements. Estates and inheritances. Estates and inheritances. Interest and income. Interest and income. Rebates and return. Rebates and return. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Gifts and surprises. Gifts and surprises. Finding money. Finding money. Bills paid off. Bills paid off. Debts demolished. Debts demolished. Royalties received. Royalties received. Souls saved. Souls saved. And body sealed. And body sealed. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's giving time. It's giving time. Hallelujah.
Mr. Amare. Praise God. You mean more than this word to me. You are the love of my life. Praise the name of the Lord. God is awesome. And in the same breath, I just want to say thanks for those that send us to Orlando, Florida. I say thanks to you. It was short, but it was very good. Praise the name of the Lord. And I thank God for my husband, my friend, my confidant. And um, he never have no new words to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so we sit at the restaurant. And he said, reminisce. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you say, Angela? And I was like, what were you doing at this time, 32 <laughs> years ago? <laughs> the amount of time I repeat that. I said I was sick, very sick. Yeah. What were you doing? I said to him, why well, I me mean, not remember you know. <laughs> No new words. <laughs> but as Deaconess Hutchison said to Deacon, I we still love him enough. <laughs> I love you, my man. That's a man in my life. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Praise the name of the. Uh, next year, I must find some words to tell yes, me. Brother Cheney, give him some words to me, all right? <laughs> God is an awesome God. So I say thanks again and. Um, 
for everyone that called to say happy anniversary. Persons I don't I didn't know that would even call. I thank you for calling. And I thank you for the many prayers that you have prayed yes, for us. Yes, yes. And you know what? If you continue to pray for us, we can be better leaders. Yes, yes, Praise yes. the name of the Lord. And I've committed myself. Praise the name of the Lord. And some person's wishes weren't answered. <laughs> and persons buy stuff and they didn't know. I'm going to behave myself. I'm in church. So thank you again. And next year you must know if we buy here. Yeah? We're Christians. Uh, <coughs> sir, God bless you. I love you and I appreciate you. Praise the name of the Lord. God is awesome. You have Christian stuff. I have non-Christian stuff on these people. Thank you, viewing audience, for viewing. Praise the name of the Lord. Next year, I'll tell you more about it. We'll understand it. A pastor, when he calls me, when he called me, I did answer. I was listening for my name. And you don't get it yet. I know my name. So when my husband called me, I was there to say yes. Kiss him. 32 years and I was still kiss him. Yes. Oh, yes, Minister. <laughs> Pastor, Minister, Pastor Chambers, and Pastor Chambers. Two pastors. Two pastors. Um, you know, Pastor, you went, both of you went to Florida, and uh, what we're expecting, we, we don't, we're still looking. You understand? You know what we're talking about. Sister Rose can confirm it, Sister Dottie, and myself, and you know what I did. You know what I did, Minister and Pastor. I don't know if, Pastor, I don't know if Minister told you what I did, but it, it's between me and she. She know what I did. And anyway, we want to say we love you, we appreciate you. And, you know, we want to wish you many, many more until about 98, you know. 100. You live to see 98 or 100. And you just continue to walk, as the Lord said. You just continue to grow in his grace. We wish you all the best on your 32nd wedding anniversary. On behalf of the church, all the church, all the members of your church, we say we love you and appreciate you both. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Let's hear we kiss. Let's hear we kiss. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So we thank God. Amen. You know, it's funny. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm con, but it's funny. Oh, I didn't love this man. And, and in our church, they said the Lord chose this young man for me. And I was like, and he would love to write letters and send, come give me and be a cake and all them something. And I would give him back the cake and the ice cream and the thing. Too. But then you knew that it was of God. And then like Isaac and Rebecca, I grew to love him. Now he's my man. 
and, and, and sometimes, you know, I see people in church, we understand each other so much, doing some things and say some things. You cannot separate my fingers from my body. It's totally impossible for you to do it unless accident or something happens. So we grow into each other. We understand each other. When some persons would say, I don't want to go that way, but I'll just smile. Yeah. I don't gel I'm not jealous because I know him. Amen. I know where to find him. I know where he is. I know. Yeah. I understand him. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody have to say or behave a way like your past minister yeah. to go to pastor. Yeah. No, I know my man. Yeah. So. Praise the name of the Lord. God is awesome. So I bathe myself wisely in Zion. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a good God. He took me out of the miry clay. He put my feet up on a rock to stand. He put a song in my heart.
and worship your God. Hallelujah. Just give him all the glory. Hallelujah. And we bless your name today, God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. And we bow before a holy God. There is a word in the house for somebody today. There is anointing for somebody. There is a deliverance for somebody in the house today. Oh, if you could just worship until you worship. Oh, if you would just be grateful in his presence. And we give you praise, God. Hallelujah, We bless the name of the Lord. We are inviting you out. Last Friday we had prayer meeting. This Friday is youth night. The other Friday will be prayer meeting. And on Tuesday we have prayer meeting and Bible study. Thursday fasting and Bible study and prayer. So we're inviting you. If you can't make it one, you can make it the other. Please put your hands together and make welcome our pastor as he comes to give you a part of the mind of God, a rima word, a timely word, a word from God. Put those hands together and make him welcome. Somebody Hallelujah. give him praise. praise. the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody God give is praise. an awesome God. There's a young lady last Hallelujah. that received the anointing. Thank and you, Jesus. I understand that no one could understand what happened to her. Is she here today? She's coming with a, with a load of people because they can't understand last week Sunday when the Holy Ghost burst open this place. You remember? Hallelujah. And all kind of things happen in Jamaica. They were saying all kind of things go on. And she went back Monday and they can't understand what Amen. fell on her and what went over her. I said, God is in this house. Amen. Whether you want to believe it or not, God is in this house. Amen. So she's on her way. Hallelujah. It's the same penny. Come on. Praise the name of the Lord. I present to some and I introduce to some. Hallelujah. To some. Our host pastor, Dr. Reverend Delroy Chambers. Make him welcome as he comes. Rejoice, my child. Walks on another man. You know this journey. Will only last, last a little while. Someone monitor, my engineer. Very soon you'll see my face. Until then, I'll give you hallelujah. Oh, please be glad. Lift your voice. Read one more time. Thank you. Read. Live here and child. sing, Church of God. Walk on another mile. You know this journey will only last a little while. Very soon you'll see my face. Until then, I'll give you grace. Lift your voice, rejoice. My home is on the rock, the everlasting rock. I do not fear when storms are near. My home is on the rock. My home is on the rock, the everlasting rock. I do not fear. I do when storms are not near. fear when storms my, are near. My home, my home 
is on the rock. Put your hands together for the Lord, everybody. I want you to reach across and just shake your neighbors and tell them it's good to see you in church today. Come on, tell the neighbor. Come on, say, neighbor, it's good to see you. Come on, shake somebody hand by the bell. Shake somebody hand by the bell. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Today has been a great day so far in the house of the Lord. I want to thank you all for coming to be with us in our services today. We just welcome you all those viewing by means of Ustream, Facebook, YouTube. We welcome you into your father's house, Rescue the Persian Deliverance Ministries. I want to greet Sister Jackson in Connecticut. Sister Sue, I'm going to get your name right. You've been, you watch us almost every week. Amen. And we know that God has been blessing you. We give God thanks and praise for you all today. Thank God for my wife after two years. Where she is. Thursday was 32 years ago, she became a blessing. It was blessed. We get blessed to have me. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are blessed to have me. And I'm so blessed to have you. Amen. Amen. And I want to let the world know those watching us that she is my best, best friend. Yes. She's my wife and she's not a knife. Amen. 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 Some people have a knife, but I have a wife. Amen. Somebody say, man, and she has been taking good, good care of me. Come closer to your husband. Amen. When we're at home in the bed, <laughs> she stay at the most time at the end. Sometimes we, we switch, fill off here and drop off at the end. The bed is a king size bed. Amen. And I have to keep on telling her, come closer now. Yeah. But she, she has been good. Amen. And I want to wish you 32 more years. I'm not gonna wear right now. So any man I look at, I can't change your mind. But I'm not gonna wear right now. <laughs> God bless you. If you know us, we are very, down very down to earth. Amen. Yeah, We're not pastors who see you down there. We up here. Oh no, oh no. The only difference it makes is that we are just leading you. Yeah. But we are, we are one in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I'm happy to be leading you. As a matter of fact, I, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to be for us to lead you. You didn't have to. Yeah. You gave us that opportunity for us to lead. You could have gone anywhere else. Yeah. And we thank you for having such confidence in us to lead you thus far. Amen. The Lord bless you. Greeting to all the ministers. Amen. In the house, the evangelist, the deacon, deaconesses. Amen. The exhorter elect. Amen missionary, Christian worker, you all, I greet you in the name of the Lord, brethren at large, children at large, we greet you in Jesus' name. Let's go to the scripture, amen, Daniel chapter, I think it is chapter 6, amen. Can I tell you all something? I don't know why the Lord treats me this way, really, in truth and fact. We were here in prayer meeting Friday night. I mean, despite the rain, thank God if Missionary Brown was, I mean, she should lead the service. And when I called, she was at the train station waiting on the train. I was going to pick her up, took train to Nostrum, pick her up, came to church. And I was praying because one thing, I don't believe I should just turn by belief and share a word because I have a doctorate degree or no. I believe getting a direct word from God. I was here praying Friday night. I get up. Saturday morning, I think I start praying from after five Saturday morning. Can somebody say hallelujah? Amen. Praying just like, I mean, not, not just, just for a word, but just want a, a direct word from God. Driving sometime in the day, amen. Just want a word from God. And I, I, I said, Lord, how it takes a life so hard for me to get a word? Because when you begin to preach, you understand what I'm talking about. When you begin to come, when you come a leader, you know what I'm talking about. When you want a direct word from God, amen you know what I'm talking about. And even coming church today, still never get a word to preach. Wow. Praying, seeking the Lord, still never get a word to preach. Yeah. I was in the room, I said to sister, 
shall I lay a hand on me. I said, I took her hand and put her hand on me. I said, pray for me. So she said, the daughter. I said, I need a right word. And God is my witness. As she started to pray, I heard something. Somebody say amen. amen. Because, you see, it's got to be a word from God. Somebody help me today. Somebody help me today. And I told her, I, 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 I got it. I heard it. I heard it. And it was, God will deliver you from the den. That's what I heard. God will uh, deliver you from the den. Somebody say Hallelujah. And that's where I'm coming from today. And the scripture is Daniel chapter 6. And then when I was here, then I hear after the den, then comes the promotion. Good God, somebody, somebody say amen. After the den experience, then comes the promotion. Can you give God a praise? So let's start the Daniel 6 as I preach for some minutes and let you go in the name of the Lord. There may be a baptism here tonight. Somebody text me. Somebody may baptize about five candidates. So I will tell you for them about that in Jesus' name. Daniel chapter 6. Could you stand please? And I thank you for all those that sent us off to Florida. The Lord bless you richly and may you do it better next time. In Jesus name. What satisfies you about better next time? Higher next time probably. Plane and ship and all different type of things. Amen. God bless you. Daniel 6 verse let's read from verse 14. Then the king, when he heard these words, that's what about Daniel, was so displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, oh, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Then the king spake unto him and spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth and of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, with his signal of his Lord, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Somebody say amen. amen. Verse 21. 20. And when he came to the den as the king, after he went home, came back in early morning, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said unto Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said, then Daniel, then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God, the God said, my God, my had God. sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me for as much before him. In a sense, it was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him. And commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. And no man of hurt was found in him because he believed in his God. Verse 26. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men trembled and fear before the God of Daniel for he is the living God and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end he, deli he delivereth and rescueth and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lands. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persians. The Lord, thank you that your word is blessed in Jesus' name. You may be seated. God will... Deliver you from the dead. Tell at least two or three persons. Tell at least two or three persons. God will. Not that God may. Not that God might. But will speaks of certainty. Can you give God a praise somebody? God will. When somebody will it. He determined this is what. I requested this is what I want to be done and so the Lord says he will deliver you from the den 
Now, some of us might know some things about some of us. But we don't know everything about other people. Yes, come on. And we sometimes will see folks in church and they seem like to us everything is all right. Because they just purpose that God should be worshipped. They knew that God should be honor and God should be adored. But we don't know the hell they're going through. Can somebody say amen in the house? Amen. And we know the story. I, I preach in Daniel so many times, even in this church. And, but I'm not a storyteller. But God is saying something to us today. Yes. Now, we know that Daniel did not do anything wrong to be thrown into the lion's den. He got there because he was praying. He got there because he ignored the laws of the king because of what man said. And, and, and he decided that it doesn't matter what man want to say, I know I must serve God the right way. Can somebody give God praise? And let us all check ourselves today. We know that we're walking a certain way. It's not that we're walking bad. It's not that we're creating problems. But sometimes it seems like every time we do good, he will present itself. Can somebody help me in the house and give God a praise? But God said today he will get you out of the den. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout in the house and give God a praise? I don't know what den you find or found yourself in today. Probably we might have done something wrong and we, we are in an isolated place. Because what that really mean, it says here that it's a lair or shelter of wild animals. It also, those that have house and have attic, they have a little part they call the den. It's a secluded area where people, people think to put things safely away. But the point we're looking at today is among the lions. A place that you didn't put yourself there, but you find out that you're in a situation that seems like it's about to kill you. Somebody help me in the house today. Some of us, God know that our backs are up against the wall. We cannot turn right nor left. We can't even go forward nor backward. The place we are in is so narrow. But God is about to let us know that he is still God. He is still the omnipotent. He is still the omniscient. He is still the untimed God. God. He may not come when you want him, but surely God will come on time. Somebody help me in the house and give God a praise. I hear the psalmist says, he take me out of a horrible pit. Hallelujah. The man says, I was out in the sea of despair. I was out on the Broadway of sin and despair. Satan said, you are doomed. Now for a, I heard Satan shout, but the song man said, but Jesus, he reached down on me and he lifted me up. Somebody say, Lord, lift me up today. Anybody in a den and want to come out, say, Lord, lift me out today. I want a breakthrough. I want a change. Can you give God a praise in the house? Then. Yes. Then. Just among lions. Yes, yes. We know lions are the king of the forest. Yes, come on. Especially when they're in a pack. We know that lions are supposed to run things. Lion speaks of strong leadership. Sometimes we may find ourselves surrounded with some strong presence. It seems like nothing coming through for you. Help me somebody. Sometimes the things that we hear that someone said, it can lock us in. And my God, when we should be having fellowship, we just can't because we are isolated because of what people say or do. And because we never handle it properly, we end up in a den. And in the den, there is no one to give a word of comfort. Because let's look at Daniel. You see, he was thrown in the lion's den. And there was no human being 
in the lion's den. Talk to me, somebody. All he had was just lions that surround him. All he had was none to speak to. There was no human being. But despite where we are, church of God, the Lord can be with us. Help me, somebody. The Bible says, the psalmist says, in Psalm 121, the man of God said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Help me, Holy Ghost, from whence come my help. So if you're in a den right now, you can lift your eyes from where you are and say, God, of my Father, remember me today. God, you know where I'm at right now. I've not done anything wrong, but because of bad mind people, because of envious people, because of grudgeful people, because of hypocrite, I am in a den right now. But God, I look to you one more time. I need a breakthrough. Somebody say, Lord, say, Lord, I need a breakthrough. I must come out of this situation because all I can hear are lions roaring around me. Somebody say breakthrough. The Lord dropping my spirit when I, when I get this word. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because they stood for what was right. They were thrown in the flames because Nebuchadnezzar says, let me see which God that can deliver you out of my hands. And they said, King, we're not even mindful to answer you in this matter. But one thing we know, that the God that we serve, he will. Somebody says, tell somebody, he will. Tell somebody, say, he will. I don't care what Satan says, God will. I don't care what the boss tells you, if God does not give him the final word, he cannot get rid of you. Somebody help me. Until God says so, it can't be so. Somebody say hallelujah. And so when they throw the three Hebrew boys in the flames, my God, they went in with hands bound and feet bound. That was their den. That's where they were in flames. And sometimes you feel like you are in fire. Can I preach like I feel? Sometimes you feel like all the hell is against you. Can I preach to somebody? It seems like uh, there is no light breaking through uh, on your part. Uh, everything looks dark and bleak, uh, but God is about uh, to come through uh, and let you know I have not forgotten you. Somebody give him praise. They found themselves in flames all because they stood for what was right. And Nebuchadnezzar who declared that no God can deliver after this sort. He had to, when he looked in the flame, he saw four men. And he said to his men, did not we cast three men in the furnace? They said, yes, O king. He said, now I see four. And the fourth is like the son of God. Now, now hold on. This is the this, minister Douglas. Tell me something. Your minister Chambers, Reverend Dr. Wilkes. How did he know it looked like the son of God? It meant to me that this man must have experienced God somewhere. Can I talk to somebody? There are some folks that you think don't know that you are. They know they are Christian because they watch your life. They say, one Christian me know and it's that one why they say the Christ in you somebody say hallelujah that is why you got to be careful how you touch somebody say buck off for me you know because me are protection because the angel of the Lord and camp it rock or shed round about them that fear him and deliver them somebody help me today shed give God a bush Give him a praise. The fourth is like unto the Son of God. God can reveal Himself in your den. God can reveal Himself in the den. Among fire, among lions. 
Somebody talk to me. Hallelujah. And you may be in your fire right now, which is your den. But stay there because your breakthrough is coming. Tell Sister Alisa, no call me out. No call me out, Alisa. Not until my time come. Because if you call me out and me come out, there's no promotion. Can I talk to somebody? The bread have to stay in the oven until it can eat. Because on a floor you want, a bread you want. Say yes. So Edna, stay in the oven. Take heat. Yes. Come on, Lord. Great. Because after this is promotion, tell somebody, after this after is promotion. Jesus. You know the story. Hey. Jesus. The king went to the moat and called out Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he declared that every man must serve their God. Because there's no God that could deliver after such sort. And the Bible said, then Nebuchadnezzar promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and where and I would say the bad nigga. Hallelujah. Abednego. He promoted them. It was after the flames. Ask your neighbor, neighbor. Look at someone and say, Hello, neighbor. Can you handle the fire? Can you deal with the den? Because it's after this, promotion is coming. Help me somebody. After all the hell, you got to work evangelist Dean. That's when promotion, so let the fire, stay in the fire. Because the longer you stay in the fire, it's better the promotion. Lord God, somebody help me in the house. The longer you stay in the fire, a better the promotion. So if they know what they know, they better leave you alone. Shout hallelujah. Is there someone that is fighting against you at work? All because you're not compromising. Is there somebody who is coming against you and it seems like you're in a den? You're in a confinement. It seems like there is no way out of this. Because in the eyes of those that have worked against Daniel, they thought it was over. Tell two persons say you don't see the best of me yet. You don't see on, nothing no yet. Person. Because the best of me still come, need to come into existence. What you see now, I'm just in processing. I'm on my way to the best part. Somebody help me today. Say, neighbor, if you can't fight with me, no fight against me. Monday they may face you under the bar. That is from the Holy Ghost. If you can't fight with me, don't fight against me. Because angel of the Lord, they will fight for me. Because the Bible says, the angel of the Lord and camps Monday they make us round about them that fear him. The psalmist says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Somebody stand to your feet and bust a hallelujah. Come on, bust a hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out. Monday, baby. Come on. Thank God. Hey. Tell somebody, say, I don't know how, but I'm coming out of this. Oh, God. Ruth, tell somebody, Ruth. Tell somebody, Ruth. Ruth, tell somebody. Tell somebody. I don't know how. I don't know how. Frederick Patterson. God, my prayer for you, see. I don't know how. I don't know how. By the team, I don't know how, but I'm coming out. Simone, I don't know how. Monday, they make a syllable. Somebody help me today. I say, I don't know how, but I'm coming out because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow. The shadow. 
Watch the other side. I don't know how, but I'm coming up. Tell three neighbors, confess it. Say, neighbor, I don't know how, but I'm coming up. Prophesy to somebody. Tell them I don't know how, but you're not staying in this forever. This cannot kill you. This too will pass. Hallelujah, sister Varys, it will pass. Say it. Sister Susan, you're watching me in Connecticut. Despite what your son is going through, he will come out of it. Stretch one towards that camera, everybody. Look towards that camera. Stretch one towards that camera. Look at that camera. Turn around and say, Sister Suzette, your son must be healed. Every retardness, we command it to go. In the name of Jesus, you're coming out, Sister Suzette. In Connecticut, you're coming out. Say yes. So finish preach. Turn around. Sit down because the longer you stand up and more I'm not gonna preach. So preach. sit down if you want me done preach. Sit down. Preach. Come on. Come on, Lord. You may not know how. Sister Rose, hey. it may look dark. Just lines, virus. Just line you can see. Yes. Like Peter. Lock up in prison. Come on, Lord. Acts 12. Yes. Mm. 16 soldiers. Yes. Come on. With one man. Come on. Soldiers in front of the gate. Yes. Now a big gate lock up outside. Come on, come on. But God will get you out of the den. Somebody talk to Chambers. Hallelujah. I don't know how, but I'm coming out of this. Because God is still God. Hey. Is there anything to her? Come on, Lord. Come on. I'm coming out. The Bible said the hey. church was praying yes. without ceasing. Come on, Lord. You read Acts 12. And although he was between lock up among 16 soldiers, yes. Yes. all the church it was just pray. Come on. And God sent an angel. Jesus. Open prison doors. When, when it went where Peter was, chains fell off. He slapped Peter, said, get up. God is sending somebody, get up because you're coming out today. Lord, who am I preaching the Holy Ghost? God says, get up. You're coming out. Don't listen to bad mind and doubt us today. You're coming out, out, out. of your den. Come on. Hey. You know the story. Read Acts 12. Come on. Hmm. The doors just flew open. And they own a car. Jesus. Peter walk out. Mm. Now some might have said it is over. Jesus. <laughs> 16 to 1, when you still gamble the race horse. Hey. 16 to 1, you still gamble to Ruth. <laughs> buy a horse like me. Never came home none from me buy. Never came home one yet. <laughs> God, God Almighty, somebody say man. All the day I'm buying horse. Never took home one horse. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear me, somebody. It doesn't matter how things look right now. God will come through for you. Can you say amen? Amen. The, the, the angel just caused the doors to be just open. Yes. By themselves. There was, God is about to open some doors. Jesus. You have nothing to do with it. It's because somebody been praying for you. Somebody. Peter was fast asleep. The man wasn't praying at all. Because far as he's concerned, it's over and done. There are other folks who believe that something can be done. Oh, God. Tell somebody, say, if you can't believe, I believe for you. Jesus. Like there are some folks I'm praying for. Every morning, I call a name. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come call on. Call a name before God. Yes. Sometimes it double up to. Yes. Call in a name. Cost every man we call standard in name. Yes. If we don't call a man, we call a evening. Yes. If we don't call Omar Brown name, we call Omar, 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 Omar Brown name in the evening. Yes. My God, me call, amen, somebody. Me call the name them. Me call Frederick Pattison, Father and Son, because of your name. We call the name to Jesus. Come somebody, because you must come in. Talk to me in the church of God. Hallelujah. We call Storm name in the morning. Come on, talk to me somebody. We call your two daughters name. We call your husband name. Come on somebody. I don't know how they're going to come, but they must come. Somebody, they're in a den right now. But so help me God, they must be released. Because the church is praying. Say yes! Come on, Lord. Radical, come on, In the name of 
Jesus. Hallelujah. I said they must come. Amen. And Steve Brown must come. Um, I, I pray for Omar Brown, Missionary Brown's son. Steve Brown, Omar Brown. I pray for Dimples. I pray for Christine. I pray for Michelle. I pray for Jada. I pray for Carl J. I pray for Phoebe. I pray for Christian. You don't hear me, somebody. I've been praying for them because they're in a den and they must come out. My God, somebody help me in the house and give God a praise. Must come out because the church is praying. And I am praying that God will save me. Jesus. Let me close. Get radical. Jesus. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it, God, I hear it. Monday they make a Somebody is about to get a visitation Come in the on. morning. Come on. Daniel Jesus. did not know. Come on. And your mom doesn't mean have to be in the morning. Jesus. But you've been going through some dark periods. But God is about to show up. Jesus. When you least expect it. Talk to me, somebody. And so early in the morning, the king went to the Daniel where he was and cried out, Daniel, servant of the most high God, is thy God able to deliver thee? He, he, he here, oh king, live forever. Mm -hmm. Yes, somebody is about to get a good news. You ever hear something sweet? God, what am I preaching to? Lord Jesus, can you imagine how the king felt when he heard the voice of Daniel? Daniel said, oh, king, I'm still here. Tell somebody, say, I'm still here. Yeah, you try, but I am still here. You think send me done, but I am still Cheney. The reason why you're alive, Cheney, because there's a call of God upon your life. Because of a call of God upon your life while you're not dead. Somebody praise God, stand up closing. Stand up closing. Come on. He heard, oh king, live forever. Forever. My God has sent his angels to close the mouth of the lions. And God is about to close some mouths. Do you hear what I said a while ago? Monday they make a silver. God is about to close some lion's mouth. Those that disrespect you, those that talk things they should not talk against you or about you. God is about to close their mouth and let them know, say, many am God. And the king commanded, the king commanded, and they took up Daniel out of the lion's den. God, the king himself is about to send somebody, my God, to take you out of your den. And then to declare that this God must be worshipped. Hands raised everywhere. I'm not true preaching, but me pause. Come on, Lord. Lift your hands. Don't look at nobody. Jesus. There's an awesome presence of God in the house. Come on, Lord. You're here today. Jesus. But you find yourself locked in, but you want to break through. Yes. Come, let me pray with you right now. Come quick, quick, quick. I'm taking about five minutes to do this. Come, come quick, on, come, come on, come on. You're not safe. Come. You're in a den. Come. You're in a turmoil. Come. Hey, hey. Because the king is about to send somebody to take you out. You may feel done and feel like God somehow. Sister, sister Cooper. Da, 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 da. Circumstance you, you can get through. Right now it seems there's, There's no, no way, way out, out. Come on. and you are hurting. Come on, sing it, Minister. Yes, yes, yes. God, God understands 
He'll find a way Come on. to fix it for you. Oh, oh, oh. And he'll, he'll do, do it, it again. again. Just take a look where you are now and where where you have been. Hallelujah. As he always comes through for you. He's the same now and say. Don't you know God has not changed? You may not know how. You may not know when. But he'll do it again. I must close. God knows the things you're going through. Come and sing that verse. He understands just how your heart has your been broken in two. Hallelujah. He's the God of the sun, the stars, the sea, and he is your father. He'll calm the storms. He'll find a way to take care of you. Everybody sing now. And he'll do it again for you. He'll do it. Yes, he will do it again. Just take a look at where you are now and where Just raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you believe that the anointing is in this house, that God is about to do something for you, just begin to praise Him right now. Come on. Just open your mouth and begin to. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak a word of healing. I speak a word of deliverance now Lord everyone that found themselves locked in a den that need to come out I speak a word of breakthrough as you send an angel to Peter's prison and get him out right now in the name of Jesus I send a word in your den I said come out I said come out I said be loose every bars I told you I come out to be broken every doors that lock you in I kick them down now in the name of Jesus breakthrough 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 come out come out come out it's your season it's your day just come on praise him come on praise him come on praise him come on and praise him hallelujah come on and praise him you're coming out. You must come out. No more darkness. No more darkness. Every bad dream, under every negative dream, every fear, I command you. Every fear to lose you now. You're coming out. See your heart. I call your name. You're coming out. Are you there? The same now as then. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. Somebody say I'm coming out. Somebody say I'm coming out. Somebody say I'm coming out. Say I'm coming out. Every fear. Every fear. Must go. But he'll do it again. Somebody praise God. There's an anointing. There's an anointing in the house. People of God drinking the anointing. Those in the congregation stand to your feet. There's an anointing. Can you receive it? You're coming out. You're coming out. Lift your hands up. Come on, everybody. Raise your hand. There's a breakthrough. There is a breakthrough anointing. Always come through for you. He's the same now as Somebody praise him. God has not changed.